New this morning, it is just 30 minutes from Tampa in the southern half of Hillsborough County, and it's making breweries all over the region think twice about where they get their hops. Researchers with the University of Florida, they've spent the last three years perfecting the hop crop in our area, and Fox 13's Jennifer Holton takes us to the farm in Baum, where from one professor explains what it really takes to get the perfect bud. Florida might be known for its oranges, but a new crop is about to have farmers hopping on its bandwagon. This is the flower of hops. Uh, so this is what we will harvest when they are ready. Just 30 minutes from Tampa, professors with the University of Florida have nurtured the state's biggest hop yard. Assistant Professor Shinsky Agrahara says with local breweries on the rise, there's a market for it. We have so many breweries here. We have more than 280 and uh, many of them are looking for locally grown hops. Over half the world's hops come from the Pacific Northwest for two reasons. From April to October, the days are long and the climate is warm. But Florida only has the latter, so Agrahara had to make some adjustments. When the sun goes down, these lights turn on. Hops need at least 15 hours of sunlight during the early parts of the growing season. So Agrahara says that's why they installed these LED lights to kind of trick the plants into thinking they're already in that environment. We extend the day length by uh, five to six hours. We want to create 16 to 17 hours of day length. And speaking of length, the vine crop grows up this 19 foot long stretch of twine. So the twines are hang from the wire, uh, which is 19 feet high. And then uh, we train the vine on the twine and then they can climb up. And once it's time for harvest, they will you know, become larger and then they will have the, the aroma of hops. Nearby spots like Levin Brewery, reap the rewards. We got uh, some Cascade hops and we brewed a uh, wheat IPA um, that was just a very, very popular one here in the tasting room. That's uh, always an advantage, um, being able to build those relationships with uh, local growers and farmers. From farm to pint, within 10 miles. In Balm, Jennifer Holton, Fox 13 News. The university's research farm expects to expand their hop yard to 2.4 acres because they're in their experimental phase still. They've been donating their hops to breweries like Tampa Cigar City Brewing and Three Daughters in St. Pete.